When you go out, who you gonna meet? Hello, Inspector Faraday. Huh? You speaking to me? Well, your name's Faraday, isn't it? Faraday? Yeah, I'm Faraday. Well, my name's Sammy. You know me, Sammy? Yeah, hello, Sammy. I kind of thought you'd be along this way. Well, so I'm along. What do you want? Just to tell you something. I know about a holdup. They're sticking up an armored truck. Who is? When? Where? The north side is where. Tomorrow night is when. The butcher boys is who? The butcher boys, huh? Yeah. Thanks, Sammy. I'll... Oh, that's not all, pal. There's something more important. They're going to take the loot directly to the boss. What? The boss? Yeah. They're going right from the armor track job to the boss? Yeah, I thought you'd like to know. Like to know. Sammy, I almost like you for this. I've been trying to find out who has the butcher boys for months. Maybe I can grab him this time. Thanks a lot, Sammy. Okay. You keep on being a good boy. I'll be good to you someday. I hope you remember that. I won't forget it. Oh, you got a good memory for things, huh, Sammy? Uh, what, huh? A memory for everything but faces. Uh, who, you can who, remember to tell Faraday about it, though, John. Who are you guys? The, the butcher boys? Two of them. We come from a large family. Come on, Sam. You're going for a large ride. Hey, you're the teeth grabbers on. I already got it. No, oh, no, no, no. Please, boys. I didn't tell Faraday a thing. I didn't say a word about a thing. Oh, don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Why, we aren't going to kill you, Sammy. That is not unless the boss says to kill you. Oh, yes, no, no, no. You, Sammy, you, you let's go see what the boss wants us to do oh, with you. I... Ah, the spot you put us in has got to be erased. It's got to be erased or you got to be. And now on to Dick Calmer as Boston Blackie. Enemy to those who make him an enemy... Friend to those who have no friend. James, have you sent Henry for the car? Yes, Mr. Van Allister. Good. He said there would be a slight delay, though. Uh, with the big car, though. In that case, tell him I'll take the convertible instead of the big car today. Right away, Mr. Van Allister. I'll see who's at the door, James. Yes, sir. Oh, hiya, James. Oh, good come afternoon, on, Mr. Butcher. Hey, come right in. Oh, thanks. Come on, Ted. Drag our friend Sammy with you. Inside. Mr. Van Alister, hey, the messages John and Theodore Butchered and uh, friend to see you. Thank you, James. That'll be all for now. Very good, sir. Well, John, Ted, who's this? This is uh, Loudmouth Sammy, boy. Oh, hey. Loudmouth? <laughs> Loudmouth, loose mouth, limp mouth. Doesn't make any difference, boy. No, he no. talks. The cops. No, I didn't... Because I'm being confidential with Inspector Faraday. And you can guess about uh, what, can't you? It was huh? nothing. Uh, I never guess at anything, John. I'll tell you what it was about, boy. Never Look mind, it. Ted. I'd rather hear it from our guest. Oh, I didn't tell him anything. I didn't tell John, him... John, advise our guest that I prefer the truth, will you? Oh, huh? sure. But... <laughs> You've advised him enough, enough, I think. Yes, that's enough. Well, that's I'm enough. listening, Sammy. Now uh, start talking. You'll get a little advice from me, too. Oh, no, 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 no more, please. I I'll tell you what I told Inspector Friday. Well? Uh, it was about the armored truck. It was about holding up the armored truck. Oh, is that all? Yeah, that's all. I swear that's all. I wonder. John. Yeah? What? Take him into the oh, other no, room. No, no, yeah, please, yeah, I know the rest, boys. No, no, no. Come on, Ted, you can help No, 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 wait, 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 wait a minute. I I'll make a deal. I'll tell you something else. The huh? man really is talkative, isn't he, boy? <laughs> he sure yeah. is. Well, what are you saying? Well, what is it you have to say? Well, look, if I can tell you something you really want to know, will you let me go? Will you? Perhaps. How'd you like to knock off Boston Blackie, huh? <sighs> Take him inside, gentlemen, if that's oh, all no, he wait, has wait, wait, wait. Say. You know, if you let Blackie around, he'll get you sooner or later. I know where I'll be, and alone... And I know what he's up to. Make me a deal, huh? Make me a deal. Let me go and I'll tell you everything. Hey, that Blackie's a bad guy, boss. Yeah, mm -hmm. I had one running with him and I came in second. Yeah, the yeah. squealer here's got something. Uh, Perhaps. 
Where is Blackie going to be? What? Would you let me go then, huh? We'll see. Well, then, where is he? Well, it ain't where he is. It's where he's going to go tomorrow night. Oh. Tell us where that is, Sammy. Because wherever it is, he'll never leave there alive. Guess who? Blackie, hang up. Hang yourself. Do something, but don't bother me. Same old Friday. Same old tired talk. Same old tired brain. Yeah. You ought to know that if I call you up, it's about something important. The only thing you could say that would be important to me would be goodbye. <laughs> what are you waiting for? For you to get some sense, which is probably a lifetime engagement or assignment that I've given myself. Did a character named Sammy the Lip get to you? Suppose he did. What do you know about it? I sent him, sweetheart. He came to tell me about the butcher boys and their latest caper, and I referred him to you. I told him you were in that business. Oh, you did? That's right. All right, all right. You sent me Sammy. I talked to him. He told me what he knew. I'm going to do something about that armored truck thing. You happy now? I couldn't be happier if you were in your right mind. Sure. We'll grab this butcher gang and their boss together. We'll grab? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. You're keeping your nose out of this. And I mean it this time, Blanky. Will it make you happy if I do? I'll give you a sample. Ha, ha, ha. That's how happy it'll make me. In that case, Faraday, I've got news for you. You worry about grabbing the gang after they grab the armored truck. I'm going to take a vacation in the country. Good. You need a rest, and I need one. Very From clever. You. Mm-hmm. That's very clever. I wonder when you heard me say it. Uh-huh. Faraday, old pal, I am going to take it easy. You do the work on the armored car and leave the rest to me. <laughs> Be quiet a minute, and I'll tell you why I've called you all together. <laughs> Mrs. John and Theodore Butchard have finished entertaining our guests, Mr. Van Alistair, and they're resting. That's quite all right, James. I'll go over things with them a little later. Boys? Yeah? Yes, the police have been informed of our intention to rob that armored truck on the north side tomorrow night. Who read it, boys? It doesn't matter, guys. But our plans have been definitely upset, Mr. Van Alistair. On the contrary, James, our informer has been of great help to us. I've just learned that 48 new automobiles are being trucked in from the Middle West tomorrow night. We're going to steal those cars, all four dozen of them. That's a man-sized job, boys. This outfit is man-sized, isn't it? Right. So the truck dealer's out, huh? That's correct. But in view of the new cars we can appropriate, it doesn't matter too much. Okay, if you say so. Mr. Van Alistair. Yes? What about this blackie person? Have plans been made for him? Very definite plans, James. In fact, if he's alive tomorrow, I'll be very surprised. Oh, that's good. No, James, I don't think we need worry about Blackie much longer. Well, that's good. Now, uh, let's get back to the new cars. It ain't going to be tough to sell them, boys. But it'll be tough to hide them till we get rid of them, won't it? We'll sell the cars in another part of the country. Uh, drive them there right after we lift them? No, drive them to the Franklin Farm. I'll meet you there an hour after the robbery, and then I'll tell you... It's... Come in. Oh, Mr. Van Alistair. Oh, come in, John. How's our talkative guest, Sammy? I don't think he's going to talk anymore. No. No. What a shame. Is he dead? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think I hit him too hard. Oh. <laughs> What'll I do with the body? Oh, leave it out in the country someplace. They tell me it's peaceful there. Here comes the ambulance, Inspector Faraday. I don't know why anyone sent for an ambulance, Sergeant. This guy's been dead for hours. Poor Sammy. He sure died the hard way, Inspector. Somebody really worked him over. Yeah, I know. Tell him, tell him, boys. Yes. Yeah. Oh, well, look who just got out of that car behind the ambulance. Hello, Faraday. Blackie, go away. Get in that ambulance and make like a victim. Do anything you want, but do it away from here. Thanks, Faraday. I will, as soon as I find out what the score is. It's nothing to nothing. That's right. You know nothing, and you'll do nothing. Oh. So Sammy got it, huh? Well, let's take it. He was an underworld character, and they all get it sooner or later. Okay, okay. So he got it sooner. How did you know to come way out here? My brilliant mind, Faraday. I was at headquarters when the report came in and followed the ambulance out here. 
You know, I think maybe even you could have done that. That's enough out of you. Apparently someone couldn't get anything out of our dead friend here. But you got plenty out of him, didn't you? Enough to know when, where, and how to get to the boss of the butcher mob. You think it's going to be easy? It will be if you'll stay out of my way. Okay, Faraday, I'll do it. Good. I'll get to the boss myself. Bad. Good or bad, pal. I'll get him. Get me? Hello? Hello, Mary. This is Blackie. Oh, Blackie, you're late. You promised you'd take me to dinner a half hour ago. Oh, I'm sorry, Mary, but I'm, I'm going to be later. Uh-oh. Little Mary eats alone and likes it. Well, Blackie doesn't eat and doesn't like it. I'm tracking down the butcher mob. Do you have to? Mm-hmm. And it seems to me I had a run-in with one of those lads once. I think it was, uh, Willie or Ted. Uh-uh, no, it wasn't. It was Johnny. Oh, what am I saying? You never met one of us. <laughs> Thanks, Mary. It was Johnny. What did he look like? Do you remember? I have a poor memory for faces. Uh-oh. Uh, I guess if I don't tell you I won't see yours for so long, I'll forget it, too. <laughs> now you're being a good girl. What did he look like? Oh, well, he was tall, blonde, and had a mustache and an ugly scar on his right cheek. Mustache on his right cheek? Funny place for one. Oh, you know what I mean. <laughs> yes, I know. Well, have a nice dinner. Oh, I'm sure I will. You eat something, too, will you? I sure will, Mary. I'm going to a farm, and if my plans work out, I'm going to make the boss of the butcher mob my meat. <laughs> Shotgun your hand. Shotguns were made to go off, Blanky. And I don't have to tell you how I knew you. Funny how things work out. A minute ago, I say hello to you. Now I've got to say goodbye. So long, Blanky. And now, back to Boston Blackie. An underworld character named Sammy tells Inspector Faraday how he can find the boss of the notorious butcher mob. Because he talked, Sammy is killed by the mob. And the mob, unknown to Faraday, changes its plans, arranges to kill Blackie, and steal a load of new cars. When we left Blackie, he had arrived at a farmhouse presumably having been hit by a car, and unaccountably, the farmers grabbed a shotgun, after which a shot was heard. As we return to our story, the telephone rings in Inspector Faraday's office. Faraday speaking. Inspector Faraday, this is Mary Wesley. Oh, Miss Wesley, if I'm not being pestered by Blackie, I'm bothered by you. Now, leave me alone, will you? Inspector, where's Blackie? Do you know? No, and I don't care. As long as he's out of my way. Oh, Inspector, listen. He wanted me to describe one of the butcher mobs for him. He said he wanted to be sure he'd recognize him again if he saw him. But that was six hours ago, and... Well, I'm afraid something's happened to Blackie. Mm, I'm hoping something did. Hey! On account of him, I got a phony tip about an armored car that was supposed to be hijacked. I hope he stays low. Oh, please. Now, Inspector Faraday, you know you don't mean that. Well, of course I don't. But I'm sore. Blackie wouldn't stay out of this case... Now it's all messed up. Why is it? 
If I had men all set to follow the butcher mob after an armored truck robbery on the north side tonight. But the truck wasn't even stopped. That means Blackie's interfered. Now how do I find the mob leader? Look, Inspector, you'll find the leader of the butcher mob some other time. Please try to find Blackie now. I'll try. But don't worry, Miss Wesley. No matter where he is, he's all right. Unless, uh... Huh? Oh, unless what, Inspector? Unless, like I always said, he'll meet a guy someday who's luckier than he is. Let's just hope today isn't that someday. Yes? Mr. Franklin. Yes? You know who this is. Well, I'm not uh, quite sure. You know all right. What about Boston Blackie? Did he arrive as I said he would? Sure did. Got here and pretended he'd been hit by a danged automobile and wanted me to fix him up. And I did with a shotgun. Good, good, wonderful. And Sammy was a helpful gentleman after all. He told us he told Blackie about our using your big barn and that Blackie would be out to see you. Thanks if he wasn't, too. Well, as long as you took care of him, it doesn't matter now. Excellent work, Mr. Franklin. Get rid of the body and be ready for this evening. We'll be using the barn to hold 48 brand new cars. The barn will be here when the cars get here. Good. I'll be at home here waiting for a report. You call me, will you? You know the number. It seems to me maybe I mislaid it somewhere. I don't... Oh, you've got it. Look for it. Goodbye. Hmm. Operator, did you want me, Miss Franklin? Uh, Miss, this is Boston Blackie, not Mr. Franklin. Uh, A call just came here from the city. Yep, that's right. Call came from Downey, 1561. Uh, that's all I wanted to know. Uh, Thanks, Miss. Thank you very much for everything. Is that a way to treat a man back from the dead? You act like you wish I hadn't made the return trip. Who's acting? And here I am, all ready to give you the lowdown on the butcher gang, and, if you're a nice boy, the boss. Blackie, what is all this? You disappear. Nobody knows where you are. Well, you worried Miss Wesley to death. She's called this office of mine every ten minutes looking for you. I know. I phoned her from a drugstore on the way here. She's happy with me now. Mm, well, I'm not. What goes on? Get this, Faraday. The time for clowning is over. The butcher boys didn't grab that armored truck because they stole some brand new cars today instead. Where from? Well, I don't know. Oh, fine. But I know where they took them. A huge barn belonging to a farmer named Franklin. Franklin, huh? We'll grab him quick. Uh, It's too late. He's dead. What? It was either him or me when he was fingering his shotgun, and I'm a little selfish that way. I'd rather it were him. I dragged his body to the attic. What are you talking about? Our little squealing Sammy probably told the butcher boys and their boss that he had told me about their using the Franklin farm as a combination hideout and storage warehouse. Why didn't he tell me that? Because I asked him not to. I wanted to handle this myself. If you went up there with a gang of cops, you'd have scared them off. Anyhow, when I got to the Franklin place, I pretended I'd been hit by a car, but Franklin wasn't fooled. Apparently, he was expecting me. Mm, I always knew you were a bad actor in more ways than one. Hey, you should have heard the impersonation I did of Franklin on the telephone. It was good enough to fool the boss. Who is the boss, Blackie? I'll let you know when I introduce him to you. That can wait for a few hours, though. And those few hours are going to see you a very smart cop. Let's see how good an actor you are. Because that's a very strange role. (laughs) Good. Very good. Excellent work, John. <laughs> okay, bud. Do I move the cars now? That's right. You and the boys drive each of the moving vans out of the barn. It was a sense run of the new cars and the moving vans we had parked in Franklin Barn, Mr. Van Alistair. Good. Good. <laughs> now, you want two of the boys to get into each van, drive them all out of town. That's right. Oh, uh, has Mr. Franklin returned yet? That's funny, boss. No, he ain't around. We ain't seen him. Uh, but there was some blood on the floor of the farmhouse. Mm. Mr. Franklin's following orders. He killed Boston Blackie and is probably out disposing of the body. Those were his orders. You follow yours. That's all, John. Oh, thank you, Mr. Van Alistair. Thank you. Uh, bye. Uh, we'll be moving those vans in uh, ten minutes. Excellent. Goodbye. <coughs> Goodbye. 
Our van's the lead van, Ted. You know yeah. the route to take it, do I have to tell you again? I got it, John. What's holding up those vans behind us? Now, the last one's backing out of bar now. We better wait for it to turn around. Tommy's driving, and that guy could get lost in a telephone booth. <laughs> I hear that Hick Farmer Franklin knocked off Boston Blackie. Is that right? Sure. He's one guy I really wanted out of the way. <laughs> uh, Tommy's got his van turned around. I guess we can start rolling. Okay, let's go. Roll! 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 Here we go, boy. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I got a laugh, John. It's going to take a guy with x-ray eyes to see we got cars inside these moving vans. <laughs> you ain't kidding, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. But, but, fellas, the joke's on you. Who are you? Hey, Blackie. That's right. This gun and I say that all no, the vans didn't. are following you, but you're following my orders. <laughs> Got a heavy enough roadblock across the highway, Inspector Faraday? It'll do the trick, all right, Sergeant. If Blackie did his stuff, stay back in the bushes. Yes, sir. Hmm. The trucks are five minutes overdue. I hope nothing went wrong at the farm. Yeah. Now, Blackie was pulling a pretty risky thing there, Inspector. Well, it was his idea. If it didn't work out, I was going to... Inspector. Hmm? I think I hear the vans coming now. Something's showing. Yeah, it's a van's all right. Yeah, the first one just rounded the corner. Ready? Yeah, ready, willing, and able, Inspector. If that roadblock stops the lead van. If it doesn't, Blackie will. And I know Blackie's in that first van because the vans wouldn't be routed this way if he weren't. There must be. Inspector, it's not slowing up. It's going to crash in the roadblock. Get back! I'm already getting back. That's it. You ever stopped in time, Inspector? Go get him. Come on. Right. Oh, they're giving up easy. In fact. There's Blossom Blackie. Hey, Blackie, you hurt? I hope I ain't. Well, my driver got a little ambitious when he when he saw the block and tried to crash through it. Huh? He thought he could get away from me eventually, I guess, but the roadblock and the police gave him ideas. Uh, bad ideas. Well, we got them all, but we don't have the guy we want. The boss of this mob. Oh, I think we'll get him before the night's over, Inspector. I can find him. You can? Where? Well, you see, I know his phone number, and you can check his name and address. Huh? I know the phone number, but believe me, I'm not calling for an appointment first. Come in. A gentleman here to see you, Mr. Van Alistair. Well, show him in, James, and, uh, James. Yes, sir. Where did you get that black eye? The... Uh, Black eyes, sir? Oh, I uh, ran into... You ran into this first for now, sir. Who are you? I'll let you know. And, uh, James, uh, that'll be all. Uh, Faraday's waiting for you outside. Very good, sir. Nice place you have here, Van Alistair. I demand to know who you are. Stop it, kid. You're not in a position to demand anything. What? But I'll tell you, I'm a nice guy that way. I'm Boston Blackie. Blackie? But I thought that... That I was dead? I know. Everybody thinks I'm dead lately. Glad to disappoint you, Mr. Van Alistair. Very glad. Well, do you want to leave your manor in a manor to which you're accustomed, or would you prefer I carried you out? Where are my boys? Where are they? The butchers in jail, waiting for you. They said to tell you that they're awful lonesome. They told you about me? Mm Mm-hmm. They wouldn't. They wouldn't dare. I don't believe you. You're making all of this up. First, I'm an actor, now I'm a writer. Look, Mr. Van Alistair. My boys. I don't want to waste any more time. My boys are in jail, all of them. Every last one. They didn't tell you about me. They wouldn't dare. You said that before, all right, so they didn't. Does that make you feel better? The cars. The ones in the van. We've got them all. It can't be. It mustn't be. I planned too long. I was too careful. You're lying. You know you're lying. Tell me you're lying. Oh, come here, you late man. Punk. (laughs) Come on, cutie. Come on, let's get moving. No, no. You're responsible for this. You're the one that wrecked all my plans. I'm going to... Mr. Van Alistair, I'm surprised at you. With your breeding, too. Using the wrong knife. Oh. Oh. Uh, Mikey, you need any help? No, thanks, Friday. This guy on the floor does. Yeah. That's your gang boss, pal. Uh-huh. See to it that he's unemployed for a long, long time. 